Hello everyone, my name is Tibor Blanesi and I work on static analytics as sonar source. <clears throat> and welcome to this talk, which is called Who Guards the Guards? And uh, I would like to show you three common pitfalls of JavaScript unit testing. So the first issue I would like to show you is the following one. So imagine you have the following test and you write your expectations there. <clears throat> do you see the issue? Whatever you do in the, inside the expectation, this test actually never fails because what is missing is the assertion after the expect. So to have any meaningful testing, it has to look like this. <clears throat> you might be surprised how common you, this issue is. You can, I will just show you two examples. So the first one is in Kibana project. And the second one is in Angular. The next issue I would like to show you might be a bit cosmetic. However, it, it often uh, helps to have the clear test to better understand the, the real issue. So in the following test, the, you need to, when you write your assertion, you always need to provide the actual value, which is the result of the test and your expectation and the orders in which these values are provided matters. So to the expect, you should provide the result of the computation. And when you invoke some assertion like equal, in this case, it should be the expected value. If you swap it around, you will receive such a message as here where expected is two and it's supposed to equal to three, which is wrong and it might be confusing. Correctly, it should look like this. You should have the addition in the expect call and it should equal <clears throat> to what, you, what your expectation is, in this case two, which gives better message where three is expected to equal the two. So we, the result is what we computed is three and our expectation was two. And here is the actual correct test where you need to correct your computation to have the test to be green. So this is cosmetic, but when you are debugging more complex issue, it might be really helpful to have a good error message. So here is the, the real life project uh, having this problem. You see that the, in the expectation, the test and data is swapped. The third issue I would like to, tell you, to show you in this lightning talk is the following one. Imagine you have a test and this test is going to be always green. Why? <clears throat> because there is actually no assertion in it. So you are not testing anything. So to fix this test, you should actually assert something. So for example, do you want to assert that this string is, has, has, has the value of string. And here is the real life example from ES Link project where you might have this problem. This often happens when you are dealing with exceptions. So the following test will fail if the exception is thrown as the comment suggests. However, the message is not going to be very nice. Better way to do it is to wrap your call in the expectation and assert that either the exception is thrown, or in this case, it would be to assert that no exception is thrown. So this is the documentation from Chai assertion framework, uh, how to do that. So you might wonder how you can avoid having such issues in your code. And I will show you a small demo how you can do that with SonarLint or SonarCloud or SonarCube. So, First, I will start with SonarLint. SonarLint is an extension which you can install <clears throat> in Visual Studio Code. So here is the extension, it's already installed. And here I have the three examples I was showing you. So the first one here is the <clears throat> incomplete assertion where the expectation contains the, the comparison between some function and the result value. And actually to have this test to make it more mean, meaningful, what you should do is to remove the expectation from here and add the assertion like this. And the issues here disappears. 
The second problem I was showing where you can hover here to over the squiggly line to see the description. So it says that the two arguments in the assertion should be swapped and that the correct order is the actual value first and then your expectation. So when I exchange the arguments, the issue disappears. And the last problem I was showing was the problem with the missing assertion. So you see here over the squiggly, when I hover over the squiggly line, I see that at least one assertion should be in this test. So let's add an assertion here. So let's say we expect the string to be empty. Like this. And the issue disappears. So this is how you can quickly fix it in your IDE and I, uh, your editor will <clears throat> notify you when you have this problem. Uh, and also, if you want to integrate this sort of uh, static analysis testing for your unit test in your continuous integration pipeline, you can use SonarCube, which you install on premise, or if you prefer the cloud solution, there is Sonar Cloud. So they will both look the same. Here I have the SonarCube, and here is the, the same file which was analyzed in the continuous integration pipeline. So here you see all, again the, the squiggly line where the issues are located. So this is my, my lightning talk. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. <laughs>